Hey guys, this is Billy Davison with Davison Pressure Washing and Painting coming out of Hammond, Louisiana. I wanted to talk a little bit about these uh, dis different types of power washing machines and the benefits of each. This is a home um, that I've been doing uh, for quite a few years. And back in the day when I first started doing it, we were using um, you know, the best equipment that was out there. But at the time it was 4,000 PSI, four gallons a minute. They would come in and wash the house, the driveway, uh, the guest house, the pool area, things of that sort. And it would take a lot of time. You know? I mean, they did a good job, but it was very time consuming, ladder work, and, uh, you know, just trying to climb. And but now uh, we run these 3,500 psi, eight gallon per minute machines. I have two of them actually over there on the trailer with the water tank. And the difference is, um, I, I have one guy surface cleaning with a 30 inch surface cleaner, and the surface cleaner is pushing eight gallons a minute several times faster than a four gallon per minute machine. And it, it seems to me it's more than twice. You know, I know if you do the math, you know, eight gallons versus four gallons per minute, you would think it's twice as fast. But it seems to me it's about three times as fast. Uh, while he's doing that, I have another guy on doing some lawn work uh, up over there by those columns with another 8 gallon per minute machine. So it's two of them running at the same time. Let me tell you, um, a huge difference in, in time, labor, effort, and uh, actually it's easier to get the job to come out more perfect with a better flow. It, you know, of course you're not getting fatigued as you go along, so you stay fresher. And, um, and you know how that is when you get fatigued, sometimes the quality drops a little bit. It doesn't supposed to, but you know, we're all human and it happens. So, uh, you know, my overall point is, if you're gonna be serious about power washing, um, you know, I know these machines are expensive, but uh, you know, if you can get one set up and running, get it to pay for itself and then you know shortly after that you, you're gonna fall in love with them so you you know if you got a lot of work going on you're gonna end up getting two of them for sure and um, you know with the proper surface cleaners and the proper tips for the surface cleaners because all that changes when you go to eight gallons per minute pretty much everything changes as far as how you power wash um, you know you still might want to do some x jetting but mostly it's downstream Everything changes, you know, like uh, before we washed this house when we was doing it with the 4,000 PSI, 4 gallons per minute, we'd wash it with the 40 degrees white tip. Now we pressure washing everything um, with a low pressure tip that's actually a downstream. Um, it's far downstream. It's a fan tip. It can do concrete. Uh, you know, with the 8 gallons a minute, you're really pushing a lot of volume. So, the pressure on it is probably no more than five to 600 PSI off of that tip. Maybe not even that. I'm not quite sure, but it's probably no more than 500. But you can wash your stucco. Um, also, you can rinse the windows with it as well. Or you can pop down and, you know, if you need some trimming to do on the concrete, for what a surface cleaner can do. It's phenomenal for that. That one four, uh, it's a four bar tip. They call it a J-Rod downstreamer. Um, that being said, it will pull soap too. You know, it will downstream, but I pretty much exclusively use it for power washing as well. It's just a great tip, but you've got to have the high flow machines to utilize those type of tips. One of the other benefit to having that, using that tip with a higher flow, you're not fighting 4,000 pounds of pressure all day long. You know, it's pretty much a kid could hold it. And, um, but it cleans extremely well because you've got the about really high flow. So as of now, we're pushing 16 gallons a minute, maybe a little better, you know, between the two machines. So we mined in the tank carefully because I only have a 275 gallon water tank. And um, sometimes you do have to double feed it if you're gonna run two, power, two of these big power washers on it. But it seems like it's holding pretty steady. They have a pretty good flow. Another thing what I do is I try to attach to the faucet closest to the street because usually that's where the main is, comes in from. Um, the pressure 
of the front of the house would be drastically different from a faucet in the rear of the house. Just because, um, you know, it's coming directly off the street, wherever the main is, straight, straight through, and uh, you get maximum pressure there. And uh, this is where my trailer is set up. Uh, I'll, I can push a decent, real good pressure up to four or 500 feet of pressure hoses. So the trailer will probably stay there to, to the duration of the job. And we'll go even back around uh, the corners over here and do the rear of the house and the pool all in the back and all up to that 400 feet. But if y'all have any questions, anything about, you know, these, this type of equipment or machines, where to get them, what to buy, you know, it could get, it gets a little complicated trying to match everything up. I went through the same thing, made, made some mistakes, bought things that I didn't need. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. But, you know, I've done a couple of machines like this and also for a couple of buddies of mine, I've uh, rigged them up a trailer as well. So I've kind of got used to what we need and the most efficient way of plumbing it. If y'all got any questions or anything, I'd be happy to help you. Uh, my number is 985-345-0778. You can text me or call me and we can talk about it. Anyway, I hope this helps. We'll see y'all soon.